Hello, everybody. Welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dahan as ever. I am the IT geek. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And uh, this is a bit different. We're moving away from the VDI, Cloud VDI series. Um, and I'm doing a book review. I'm going to do a few book reviews coming up with lots of books that have come out. Um, I've kind of seen on social media, like LinkedIn and stuff like that. that I've been meaning to to um, review because <laughs> I'm, you know, and, and just not a chance, obviously, because of the moon and everything. So. There's going to be a number of video reviews coming up, book reviews coming up in the next few weeks. Now, I'll, I'll put them in between my, my other videos, change it up a little bit, keep it interesting. So today, um, I'm reviewing a book. Um, it was written by two very, very good friends of mine. Um, so we'll look at securing cloud PCs and Azure Virtual Desktop. And this is by Dominique Verham and Johan Van Vanuville. Van Van sorry, Johan, if I if I've butchered that. Um, but Dominique and Johan, two very good friends of mine, <clears throat> we, um, we're all, you know, they're also Microsoft MVPs um, and they're also Nerdio NVPs as well. And we're on like that, that Nerdio journey together as well um, when, I was, when I was on that program. Anyway, I've been meaning to review this for, for, for months. Um, I read it a while ago, but I just never had a chance to record the video because of all the Australia stuff. Anyway, I finally got around to doing it. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's a really interesting book. Um, and it, the, so when I when I first saw the title, I just assumed it was around Azure and, and Cloud PCs Windows 365. But actually, it's actually it's the first word is where I kind of missed the whole point of this book is securing it. Now, <clears throat> believe it or not, um, obviously we, we, I've worked for a lot of clients, especially in the in the VDI cloud space, and this is an area that a lot of a lot of organisations neglect. They just assume because it's hosted in Microsoft Cloud that it's going to be naturally secure. It's secure by design, but there are a lot of aspects you just don't think of that need securing. And this book really does um, explain it all from a security perspective, how to secure the Windows 365 and AVD. Um, so from a, from a knowledge perspective, this book is very, very good. It has loads of good spots in it, loads of good information. Um, so first of all, straight away, you know, we, we, we kind of look at what it tells you what the book's about. Um, also, uh, who is this book for? So it's for those IT decision makers, IT consultants, engineers, security professionals and students who want to learn more about security applications for desktops and the security controls that can be used to prevent cyber attacks or data leakage. Now, after reading the book, my own opinion is you need to have, I mean, it does say you need some working knowledge about Windows 365 and AVD. Fair enough. It says that I think you need a bit more in depth, if I'm honest with you. I think you need to be someone who knows how to deploy Windows 365. You need to understand AVD. You need to understand these concepts and work with them. Because only when you work with these technologies can you understand how important it is to, to some of the security features that, that the authors are talking about. Um, so, yeah, I think you need to have a, more than a working knowledge, in my opinion. But they do, they do call that out, which I think is good. You, know, the, you need to know. Uh, so... Let's start going through some of the chapters now. Um, so first of all, it introduces that concept of um, the first chapter is around an introduction to Microsoft Virtual Desktop. So this is introducing the concept of AVD um, and Windows 365, right? And then we move on to actually uh, talking a bit more in detail about those two topics. So the first one is about introducing virtual desktops and then talking about Windows 365. So although, you know, there's an expectation that you know these topics already, they're still giving you an overview of what they are, which I think is a good way of introducing it. <clears throat> um, and again, just goes through the concepts. Now, one thing I'll say is now, uh, people who know, people who've seen my other videos, um, I, I do try to be honest. This is not saying, you know, this book's bad or anything like that. I'm, I'm never going to never gonna say you know, anything negative about, because it takes a lot of hard work to, to write these books. I'm an author myself. I've written them. I know how hard it is. But, but I need to give, you know, honest critique. Now, one critique I have is... Um, I feel like a lot of the so it's, it's two things. A lot of the a lot of the chapters are text heavy, and there's even though there are some images in between, there's not any sort of there's not there's there are some, but there's not enough. What I feel like um, labs and demos on how to like step by step on how to do. There are some, and I'll go through those shortly. But I'd like to have seen more. Now, the one thing this book does to get around that is the chapters are a lot shorter, in my opinion. So I think when you've got more text, shorter chapters are the way to go. And, and, and you know, Johan and Dominique have done that. They've got shorter chapters, straight to the point. Um, and the, you'll see uh, the longer chapters are the ones that do have the like, sort of demo and step-by-step. -step. Um, like there's one on auto patch and how to install that, etc. It's a long chapter. And it's got like a step-by-step -step guide, images and everything. 
It does break it up, don't get me wrong, there are images and things. One thing, again, that I'm, I'm quite, people who've seen these videos where I do, I do these, these sort of reviews of books, I, I like to see some knowledge check questions. And again, this isn't an exam topics book, right? So you don't need to have exam questions, but I'd say, you know, in my opinion, five to 10, just knowledge check questions at the end of each chapter, just to make sure that me as a reader, so this is me as a reader, right? I'm reading this book. I wanna make sure that I've read it, I've understood it properly. So a couple of knowledge check questions for me personally, are really good so i would have liked to have seen some knowledge check questions and this doesn't have them which is fine that's that's each of their own some some books it fits some books the authors feel like it fits something it doesn't me personally i think there's always a place for some knowledge check questions um so once they've introduced that topic we then start getting into some more endpoints so we start now the topic of security and again uh, very text heavy but 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 short chapter on why uh, you know why is endpoint security important um, and here we actually get into the nitty gritty of that. And again, very text heavy, which is fine, but it's a short chapter. So it goes on about, you know, using multiple users on a single desktop. It goes on about, you know, again, what actually happens when a physical desktop's actually stolen. And it's actually, you know, so we're not just talking virtually, it talks about the physical. Uh, and again, you know, again, some screenshots about locating devices that are ultra joined. So that's my thing. But like I said, I would like to see some more demos on how to set up certain things. There are a couple, like I mentioned. Um, and again, we go through you know, what happens when a physical device is lost or stolen. What can IT, admin do, IT admins do to, to prevent data leakage? Which I think is a really, really powerful topic. Um, so the knowledge in these chapters is amazing, I think. Really good, especially if you're, if you're new to, you're not as um, security focused as you might be. You might be a VDI expert, but you, know, you might not be that focused on security. I think this, this book really does help. Um, and has some great knowledge in it. As we go down again, we've got, got some modern security risks. I think it's very important. It goes on about, you know, different types of cyber attacks, different types of bad actors. How can you recover from a cyber attack? Um, and, and, you know, that's when it, it brings virtual desktop to the rescue. I love that concept of, you know, virtual desktop coming to a rescue. Again, short, snappy cha chapters, which I think is really good. And like I said, that gets around, I think, the fact that there aren't many sort of demos or how-tos uh, in this book. Um, so, it, and, and what I, one thing I really like about this is it doesn't actually get into the nitty gritty of security controls. In so the books around securing Windows 365 and ABD, but it doesn't get to that that part really until chapter six and seven. And I think that's really really good because what we've done is in chapters one to five, we've introduced a lot of topics. Um, or the, the the authors Dominique and Johan have introduced a lot of topics that they're going to be talking about from chapter six onwards. So again. Um, they've really set the foundations of the book and now chapters six, seven, eight and so on are going to start really bringing that to the forefront now and, and that's where we, like chapter six, we're going, okay, what are the security controls for Windows 365 and AVD? Um, and, you know, we've got user sessions, uh, uh, you know, um, kind of conditional access policies and MFA. We talk about configuring RDP and resources. But again, there's no, there's no sort of... Um, there's no sort of how to how to guides on this. There's no sort of I'm not seeing any sort of you know a couple of images, but I would like to have seen like how do we how, you know, configure a access policy, conditional access policy. Let's show show me how to configure a MFA because maybe the readers don't. I mean, it talks about students might find this useful. Students might need to know how to do that. How do we configure RDP um, and device resource redirections? Those specific settings. Um, you know, configuring it has an image there of 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 the RDC session. You know, time limit. Th Time, time out limits, but again, I would have liked to have seen some sort of de little, little lab that we can follow. Um, but again, it's not a critique as such, it's just something that I would have liked to have seen a bit more of in this book. It doesn't mean it's a bad book, it's a great book. Um, it's a lot of hard work that they've put into this as well. Um, so we've got in chapter five, preventing data, data leakage. Now they've already touched on this topic on what is data leakage and, and you know, which is which earlier on. So again, they, they've built that foundation and now they're going about, you know, preventing screen captures. Um, you know, introducing covering watermarking, covering screen. I just would have liked to have seen uh, again another lab. I, I'm, I'm repeating the same stuff. So every chapter is the same as far as that goes, right? There's a few chapters where, where they do, like there's one coming up in, in chapter chapter six, uh, part nine, which is around um, updating. It goes on about um, auto patch, and here's where we actually see um, here's where registering the service. Goes through. So this is again. You can see this is a bit of a longer chapter because they've done a bit of a demo in it, which I think is great. And this chapter is really interesting. I, I don't know much about auto patch, so for me, walking through this chapter was really interesting and, and configuring it. Um, 
And then as we get further on, we go into threat detection prevention. So this is more Microsoft Defender for Endpoint um, and topics like that. Again, a bit of a short, snappy chapter. Just just talk. I, I feel like I'd like a bit more detail. It's not a mastering. You know, obviously, we've seen the mastering books where they go into a lot of detail. I'm not saying go into that level of detail, but at least some more information, some more, you know, just, just to keep it interesting, change it up a little bit. Um, going about encrypting data as well, which is very important. And again, there's loads more interesting topics around that security, access control, RBAC, um, just in time, Azure Bastion, PIM. Um, as, as, a, as a person who works with VDI as well, I, obviously I'm, I'm a bit different because I, I, I do quite a bit of security as well, but if I'm just a VDI person, I've, I've, I've deployed AVD in Windows 365, I don't really thought about security. You know, knowing that these sort of things can help me secure my environment is priceless. And I think Johan and uh, Dominique do a very, very good job of explaining. They don't, they've not missed a beat as far as the topics go, in my opinion. I've been to some really good topics, and we're going about additional security here. They're going about securing Windows 365. We start getting into a bit more detail now about local admin rights and things like that, um, and those restore points. Um, and then, they, they, again, they, they separate the two topics, you know, obviously it's securing Windows 365 and AVD. And then we get into the AVD part of it, FS logics profiles, private endpoints, which is a great topic, which not a lot of people really use. Um, and then we get into Azure infrastructure as well and how to, because, you know, AVD uses a lot of, so does Windows 365, they use a lot of Azure infrastructure. So understanding how you can use Azure firewalls, NSGs, you know, as a VDI expert, you just won't think, you might not think about that. So again, the two authors, Dominique and, and, and Johan, do a great job. Going to some use cases here as well, which I think is really interesting. This is something that's very different, which I've not seen. I really like that. Um, and they go into the different use cases for Windows 365, and then they go into the different use cases for, for AVD as well. Again, very, very interesting concept that they've put in the book, and I think it works really well. Um, so that's it, Onyx, a great book. So let's get to a nitty gritty. Do I recommend this book? 150%. If, if you're a VDI person and you, you, you deploy AVD Windows 365 regularly, you, you need to know these things, right? They do a great job of, of really spelling out the different services and concepts you can use to secure your cloud and you know um, cloud VDI and Azure infrastructure as well. Um, there are certain things I would like to I would have liked to have seen more of. Like I said, some demo labs, um, more images, um, and some knowledge check questions. Does that make it a bad book? Hell no. It's a great book, and they've worked really hard. And I and I for one recommend. Um, I'd recommend buying it. Um, so what I'll do is in the description, I'll put the link. Um, and massive, massive shout out to Dominique and Johan. They've done a great job. Um, and kudos to both of them. Uh, very good friends of mine. I recommend you buy this book. Uh, so that's this book review done. Hope you've liked it. Drop me a comment if, you, if you've read the book and you've got some different thoughts around it. I'm always love to engage people in these sort of conversations as long as we keep it professional. Um, uh, but yeah, by all means, drop me a comment, drop me a like. And if you're not subscribed, why not? Uh, hit, hit that subscribe button. Uh, so, thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, goodbye.